my dad was an engineer and that inspired me and gave me more exposure to the field. Well, it was, it was more difficult than I expected, definitely. And there were a lot of core classes such as physics and calculus and that, that was very difficult and, but I just I tried to stick through it. I know especially with physics I struggled a lot and it wasn't something that uh, I was passionate about specifically. One specific time I can remember coming out of a, a, a physics test my sophomore year of college and I felt like I had just bombed it. So I remember coming out of there thinking uh, I should have I should have done business. I, I don't know if this is right for me. Uh, I called my parents. I you know I was very upset, emotional. I had never struggled like that. I had never gotten, uh, never felt that I had done so poorly on a test and I was used to being successful in my academics. After talking to my family and uh, my friends and, and just sitting back and, and thinking about it, I realized, you know, right now things are tough, but if I just stick through this and I get through it in the future, I'm going to be doing a job that I enjoy. I would try to think about the future as much as I could and what I would be doing later if I got through those classes and that's what helped me to work through those tough times. Find what you're passionate about. If engineering is something, if you have the skills for it and it is something you're passionate about, then when you go through these tough times, just remember that. Remember why you chose it. Remember that passion that you had for it and let that drive you to keep trying and to keep going until you get and achieve what you want. Don't quit, stay with it.